All right, 2% challenge. Let's do it. So one turn with selling. Uh, apparently heavy micro is required for this one. Three rounds. Let's give it a go. Apparently the 2% who beat it is only the creator, so um, it's actually 0%. So it's going to be hard. I'm almost certain it's going to be... It's going to take a while, so uh, sit back, buckle up. You'll be looking at this this downstream for a while, I think. There are camos this round, so I assume I have to get a submerged sub mid-round. Now, what would be rainbows? The glue would. Kind of. Let me just see where this would get me. Alright. 210 sell it for a uh, reactor. When camos come. Unfortunately, the glue wears off, right? Yeah, too fast, too fast. No. You know, I kind of want to use Blue Trap, but not this early. Let me just try a 302 into, uh, what do you call it? Oh, 301. That sucks. No, it can't be 301. Can I try a 320 at least? Can this at least beat the rainbows? Please, please, please. Barely surviving. This is not going to work. Nah. So bad. I need to find a way to beat this round for cheap. That's why I'm not buying expensive stuff. Should be pretty obvious, I mean, like, look at the cash. Let's start with Boontrap, sell it. Um, it would have to be Boomerang for this point on. Yeah, 3 two, 0 Just get the trap so that I can leak some random crap. And then, uh, camo, uh, decamo the purples. This is good, though. So I don't have to worry about leaking stuff. When do I sell now? Now. Okay. D camo all good. Do I get it back? Yeah. Now this is a beat leads. Blue trap still alive. I gotta sell this for stuff on round 46. What would I do on round 46? 202 glue or something? I need a strong glue next round. I wanna beat it. Sell it? Alright, four leads. 202 glue. Let me try 302 glue. Screw it. I'm in for long haul. 302. I make money. That's good. This will guarantee I beat 46. Because 302 glue lasts a long time. So, uh, we'll get to the last round. At least. But unfortunately, I do not have enough of the tank for 47. Because one pierce. Well, let me see how close this gets me. How many SRAMs do we miss? Curious. Okay, we get a lot of them, actually. Wow. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, I didn't decamo in time. I gotta sell super early for the decamo sub, which sucks. Wait, no, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. Because the pinks keep coming in. They just don't stop coming. So I need a spike factory, then. There is no other way. Or foam. A foam sentry gun. Yeah. It would need to be a 230. Alright, we got all but one. One ceramic. Foam. I went wrong cross path, but still dead. So my first foam has to land in a good spot, otherwise I'm screwed. Let's try glue instead of boomerang. Last. So that means the trap will absolutely tank pinks. A lot of pinks. Which is pretty bad, but I'm not sure I have a choice. Come on, quickly. So, uh, decamo now. 301. Maybe I can salvage with a boomerang. Oh, I missed one camo. Dang it. That is not bad, though. The 210 is cheaper than a 320 boomerang by a lot. So, uh, let's try that again. Heavy micro indeed required for this one. Sell now. Alright, watching, watching. We got all of them now. Sweet. So this will carry me. We'll have extra money. And I think the trap is pretty healthy. All things considered. And we'll try again the 302 glue. I think that, that has to be the best option. Because if I don't use 302 glue, then for 46, I gotta try a lot of random crap. Uh, I forgot how much money I had with this this setup, first try. But I assume I have extra a couple hundred dollars. 1762, alright. 
But yeah, one two three smack three does not defend pinks. Let me show you. Uh, one more glue. That's all. No, that's so bad. Awful. And we're dead. Yeah. So again, sell it with two scrams left or one, if you want to be risky. Risky. Foam. Decamo? I'm watching closely. Ah, one Saram kills the trap. That sucks. And I'm dead. There's one thing I can change to save that. Maybe I sell for a glue to slow down that ceramic. The last ceramic, I'm saying. But then I'm dead to camos because they come in too fast. Alright. I didn't mean to get a mop glue. Oh well. There's the foam. Now that was Lightning McQueen fast. I'm watching. Foam. Ah. The trap is just not... It's just not there. 310 glue. I'm thinking that actually. To have a healthier trap in the last round. Although I wonder if the money's there. Fast. Got it. Okay, if I leave on last, this means no yellows. That means I actually don't need trap. This round. Well, kind of. Hmm. See what I'm doing, guys? I should have got this up earlier, but... It's fine, it's fine. Look at that. A healthy trap. Well, for the most part. But is the money there still for... Everything else I want to get? Like, that trap can take a ceramic and a lot of, uh, camel pinks. I mean, a lot. Let's, uh, sell now. That's fine. Okay, the money's there still for a glue. 330. Surprised they didn't lose that much buying Dissolver. I'm surprised. This round's easy. And then same thing, with one Saram left, sell for a... What do you call it? Yeah, sell for that thing. The Sentry. Or maybe I'll still try the Glue Gunner, because that would save RB from the trap. One more. Alright. I'm still going to try the Glue. It missed. You suck. Alright, so. Foam. If we decamo every pink, we're in an okay spot. Now that foam is way too far back, but it's working. Is that it? We did it. <laughs> the 2%er completes. Well, actually, 0%. Again, the one person who beat it was the creator. But yeah. This is definitely, uh, for sure, less than 10%. And yeah, that was the answer all along. Just get the one upgrade and the glue, so the trap is strong enough. Definitely gonna give that one a like. Good challenge, good challenge. So, I don't know what the title of this means, because this is a two-rounder. So, I don't know what two million pops, like, gets me. Three towers, no selling, max rigor rate. ABR. 46 has fortified regrow... Ceramics? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Can I one-shot? I do have this guy. I do indeed have Deadly Precision, but what's the HP of the Ceramic? 10. Wait. Uh, I gotta see this. What does this do to a Ceramic? It one-shots. But 47 is probably the hard, hard round. Makes me wonder why this round's put in. I think the only reason why you put in an easy round is to charge abilities. So let's see what abilities we have. A lot. Pretty much every ability but Spike Storm. So I'm thinking Ground Zero or Star Bomber. Like, what if I get this and buy Sniper but don't place it until I can charge the Star cooldown. So, let's see. Now it's good. 302. Oh, my bombs are causing a Riga farm. I gotta change that. So let's go now. Early. The Star Bomba did... Only regrowed once, that's fine. 47, we have it now. I cannot stall the mob though. What's my stalling? I have mob press. I have no knockback super. Mob press, eh? What does that do to max speed? Oh, let's go. 
If I buy this here, wait. That did nothing. Starbama? Nothing. Dang. How many mobs are on 47? Was it three? Because if it's three, then maybe I can stun all three of them. Wait for it. Now? No. You see? I got two stunned, but the third one came in. Full speed. Oh, I've popping off. Poppin' freaking aw. But that would not do damage. That would just stun. Obviously, you can't afford it with Star and, you know, Popna. What's the HP of the Moab? 4,000. Star does 3k. What the heck? Let's go again. So, let's wait to buy this guy as usual. Stall cooldown now. Is that good enough? Popping on cooldown is way slower than Tsar, like, really slow. Please get in time. Wow, I don't. I gotta drop this really late, like, I'm talking now late. Yeesh, that's gonna exit. Very close to exiting, but I think this is good. This is good, I think. We'll get the get popping on time. Popping on, got it? Okay. But what, what does this do? We just get the stun, but they're too much HP. Look at this. And they're moving too. Look at the damage. Barely anything. 900 before we're dead. I can't sell either, so it's... Sounds like a waste of money. No idea if this will work. Perma spike, sniper. Let's see if this can pop Moab. It's a lot of damage. So I feel like there's a chance. Like that plus rapid fire. Gets one. Gets okay. It's probably the answer then. That's the furthest. That's the closest so far for sure. So what's my cash amount after a perma spike? Because I can maybe get tech terror. Because you know that ability. It's easy. Yes, I can afford it. That ability does one k. So here's what I'm thinking. We use tech terror on two moabs. So. There's 2k less damage this P-Spike has to do. And that way, we'll have more spikes to beat all three. Okay, so the super does one-shot. That's good, that's good. No farm. Now ability is up. That's 1k damage, see? But we still die. It might be a better placement where we get to. Where does the second Moab come up from? Because I think it only goes over this spot once. So, watch here. One loop. Right, it doesn't even hit this loop. That's not good. I don't think I can put it here, can I? Does it shoot? Close? Oh, it does. That's good, that's good. How about for number three, though? Yeah, it does. This bottom spot gets all three times. Let me try again. This here... And then super here. No, 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 now with 302. Does damage too, which is good. So, ability, wait for it. Beautiful, 2k. Now what? It still goes through. Interesting. I wonder why. Tell me if the answer is tech terror. Do I need tech terror to win this? I'm surprised if it's not tech terror, because 2k damage is really good. I will literally eat bread if Glaive Lord's the answer. I am short a little bit. I'm not gonna try it. Because I can't afford it. Oh, no, I can, I can, I can. I make money mid round. So maybe here's what's happening the second mob that skips the spikes is almost dead. And then maybe Glaive Lord, I'll get here to finish off the last HP and the Srams inside. But, let's see if we can afford it. Money? Oh, no way, the money's close. Well, I died of that one, but... I have to beat those ceramic. How? One attack, two attack, three attacks. Okay, that's good, DOT. Get the ceram. Still dead. That didn't change a thing. So, even knowing the towers, I'm not sure what to do with it. So, yeah. Should I move on for now? You know, can I think about this later? Oh my god, yeah. Hold on, I might not get it. I'm probably really far off. Uh, I'll come back to it. 
So I, I, I quit this challenge like two plus weeks ago. I spent over an hour on it. And I, I couldn't beat it. I would like to know the solution. Start with a 500 boomerang on the upper left lane. This is the solution. Now a 100 sniper where? On the barrel? Sniper like this? So, a sniper like this, 100. And then perma spike where? Okay, this is a frick. Yeah, this is so messed up of a solution. So, perma spike can be anywhere. I will uh, just drop it here. Sure. Do it on close. Three, two, one, play the round. So. Oh my god, that is genius. Now that I see what's up. Wow. You do that to stall the round to get more spikes. So you beat 47. I would never have thought of that. Like, how? How does one think about stalling this round intentionally with Glavelord and Sniper? Like, I know that Bloon spawned backwards, but how would you ever find this spot of a Sniper so that you would do this? Now, how do I finish this off? Do I, like, buy a cross path? I guess so. But let me just wait. Until I'm satisfied with a a good spike ball here. Yeah, this is, like, massive brain. Too, too big brain for me. I'm sorry. I wonder how many people would actually figure out the solution without any hints. So, I'll upgrade now to end it all off and the perma spike should solo everything right let me just watch that's all the mobs gg wow one of the biggest brain challenges i've seen makes sense how i couldn't figure it out